Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm so excited. Oh. Hello, precious. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Look at the camera. It was a half a boop. It was a half a boop. Boop, boop. Anything that you see that is black is liquid. See the stuff sloshing in here? Parasitic viral. Yep. So no blockage. No blockage. I knew you were right. <laughs> Hi, Bob. How are you, buddy? How are you? <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> and now, if you stop, he's going to start screaming. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I know. Oh. You need a home now. Maybe my home. <laughs> diagnosed this dog with nasal aspergillosis. Uh, it initially came in for some upper respiratory signs. It had just uh, initially cleared nasal discharge, progressing to a little bit that was blood tinged, sneezing as well. When she first came in, we did a CT and then a rhinoscopy as well. Um, with nasal biopsies, but you can see from what Dr. Berg just saw on the screen, you can often just visualize aspergillosis. It's kind of white plaques that take up residence in the sinus and nasal cavity. So all that's just bathing the fungus. Sitting there for 15 minutes, and we rotate it, and rotate it, and rotate it, get it all through the nose. And so essentially, right now, that, for lack of a better word, the solution that you put in there mm -hmm. is just sitting in the nose, calling the infection to clear it. Yeah, it's being treated with contact. Like you know how when somebody has ringworm, the treatment is the topical yeah. ointment or something like that. Yeah, Same yeah. thing with this stuff. Treatment is. Um, the clotrimazole itself topically is, is one of the best things we can do because we're going right to the source. 